Oh, right. I have a Kia Rio. It's a 15, 2015 Reg. Anyway, um, problem happened with the scum shopping and put my hand on here to press the release. And my hand, fingers had bits of black rubber on. I thought, mm, that's weird. Anyway, so I fixed it now. But um, what I found was underneath there you have a switch and it has a piece of rubber and the rubber had slightly deteriorated. Anyway, in this video I'm going to do show you how to remove this unit. I'll give you a link to where I found out and then I'll do the actual video of how I have repaired mine without having to buy a new switch, which you might find useful. Um, what I've got is I've got some of this uh, rubber pond lining and the idea is to cut a piece uh, we've got some rubbery glue and we're going to stick it over uh, once we've got the switch out now the tools you will need are some screwdrivers a 10 millimeter socket some little tweezers um, some rags that's to put over this so it won't lock when you put the thing down you don't really want the thing locking um, or you need some sort of rubbery glue which I've got there um, and now I'm going to try to um, take this apart is remove that I'll put the link on the short there's a guy who's, who's done a video already so I'll do the link somewhere up there so I don't want to spend too much time fucking um, around. I should have had a flat heady screwdriver, but. Uh... It's in this metal thing here. I've got a 10 mil there, and I've got a 10 mil. I just have a look in there. So we got a. 10 mil where my finger is there and we've got another one which is just there you can just about see them uh, unplug it that's the switch or unplug well, this one here we have to unplug that disconnects it from the power so that's my actual uh, mechanism which I've taken off I've put the actual little nuts on so I don't lose those there's three actually in total that bolt it to the main part of the issue car right so we want to get which is this switch here which is sort of in there so i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to remove that and that and that remove this plasticky bit here and then i can get into these screws here because they're at such a ridiculous angle i don't think i'm really going to get to them so Okay, uh, I've um, cut the initial piece of rubber off that was degraded. There just seems to be a metal plate under this, which is sort of a rock on a rocker. And if you take that off, you've got the micro switch underneath. So that obviously makes it easier for it to just press the switch. Um, I've roughed up the surface around the edge. We're going to put that back on again and uh, I've got a piece of pond lining which I've cut out now, I don't know if you can see it in this thing, but this is sort of a it's got a sort of a texture to it so it's sort of slightly rough and the idea is we'll put glue over this bit here and we'll stick that over uh, and then I'll probably just press that down like so and then wait for it to go off and then, because it's only stuck on the outer edge, not on the middle bit, then we've got the bit of movement in rubber, so we can operate the switch. Hopefully, that will uh, save us mucking around buying a complete one of these units. I don't know if you can see, that's what it looks like on the inside, so it's done the job, and of uh, course... It's actually that's probably better than the actual uh, <laughs> the original thing they actually had on there actually. 